Hey, all right, here's the deal. I worked all night, so I thought I could uh, sunrise. If it comes out, I don't know. Let's see, getting it on my camera over here. There it is. GoPro doesn't do too bad in the dark. Thing of it is, it's we're in the lake. Birds. And yep, I have a fishing pole with me. So it is 43 degrees out here, folks. It's chilly. But I was just sitting there, so I thought I would just uh, walk right down here and throw a lure around a little bit. See if I can't snag something. So I'm going to put y'all on the chesty thing right here. And walk right there. Maybe here in a minute. Might walk right over there on the pier. And then uh, we're going home. It's cold out here. Like I said, I've worked all that, so let's see if we can't uh, snag something besides a tree limb. Yeah, let's walk right down here. I'm going to use this little uh, crappy square bill, but uh, as cool as this, I don't think we're going to have a problem with the snakes. Step up here. Oh, don't this look like a crappie haven? I just wish it was about 20 degrees warmer. It is a pretty morning. A little chilly, but pretty. And then this side of the rocks. This is not real deep right here. Uh, maybe two foot, three foot deep. Yeah, I'd have something to do while I was running the camera over there. Nature. Gotta love it. Ooh, y'all see that? I got that. That's a little bass, it looked like. Baby, but a bass nonetheless. All right, that sun is peeking over. Let's see what this looks like before it really starts popping out. Oh, we're blowed out. That's what I was afraid of. What do y'all think? How's that look? A little bit darker. Here we go. Yeah, right. let's go back to our fishing. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but hey, I'm having fun fishing. <laughs> Not exactly what I came out here for, but oh, let's set that right up there. Well, y'all think I need to clean the back of this out and get some organization here. I'm going to show you all this tripod in one of these upcoming videos. It's a really cool tripod. Kind of that one versus that one. And I'll tell you which the pros and cons of both of them. So, yeah. Let's see what we got. Won't bore y'all with the walk. I'll catch y'all down there. Or what do they say? And we're there. It was a quick walk, wasn't it? That light line, boy, these are really, <laughs> they're really fly across there. It's like six pound line, maybe eight. Look at the tip of that rod bouncing. That's some action on that lure. This is a medium heavy, I believe. Ugly stick. Good little lures, or good, <laughs> good little rods. 
That's a beautiful sunrise. I always look above you when you start to reach back to the cast. I don't know how many times I've got overly excited and just threw it and wound up sticking it in the tree above me. And if you fish and you say you've never done that, I question that. I'm not calling you out on it. I'm just saying. You've done much bank fishing. You've probably done it. Sometimes people ask me, how did I come up with dirty shoes? Look at there. It seems like everywhere you go, there's always a shoe. One shoe. When you're out in the mud and hiking trails or wherever, I always come across one shoe, and that's how I kind of come up with dirty shoes. Made sense to me. There's all your budding regulations and whatnot. Not a very deep lake. Not a whole lot of stick ups out in them towards the middle, but there are lots of rocks down the dam, as you see. Let's cast that. Oh, 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 where are we going? Oh, we landed right on the pier. I was wanting to put it right beside it. I think we succeeded in doing that. Out at uh, Lake Buffalo about a week ago. I do not know this to be a fact, but a fella called me asking me what, who to contact to weigh a fish. He caught a crappie that he said on his scales weighed four pounds, but his scales are not official. And if that's the case, it was definitely a lake record. It quite possibly could have been a state record for Texas. Now, I did not see the fish and I did not know the guy. It's the phone call I got while I was at work. But the way he was talking, I tend to believe him because he wasn't like over exaggerating talking or whatever. He's a little disappointed, but I bet he got pictures. So I told him, get pictures and measure that thing and let it go. Whether he let it go or not, I don't know. And I don't know if it was a white crappie or a black crappie. I believe if it was a, what is it? I think Texas is 3.96 on white crappie and 4, 414, 412, something like that on black crappie. I may be wrong. I may have that backwards, but it's something like that. Either way, a four pound crappie is a big, big crappie. I've never caught one that big. I've never seen one that big. Now they put, uh, supposedly they put brush down here in the edges of the pier here. It's supposed to be fishing only and for your boats and whatnot. But kids tend to come out here during the summer and swim. And I, you know, I'm not saying that I wouldn't have done it too. But, uh, Sure makes it tough for people trying to fish. And it is a fishing pier, not a swim up here. So I don't know. There's pros and cons. 
I've come out here a few times. Oh, did I do it again? Oh, well, I don't think we'll get it around that is. What kind of bottom floaters we got on here? I don't know. Yeah, let's not chance it. I like the slur. Uh, but I've come out here to fish, and there's been people out here swimming. I'm not going to try to run them off or nothing. That's not cool. Yeah, if they were here before me, they were here before me. And that's how that rolls. But I, I think that cold front we had come through pretty much uh, shut the fishing off for a few days. But I'm off this weekend. Today is Thursday. It's supposed to warm up. So may try to get out here or somewhere all right let's get back over there where it's warm got a left we'll see how it turns out and if you're curious about the camera it's a canon eos r with a 24 to 240 zoom lens I don't know how much you get into cameras but that's what that is oh look at the pretty flowers Let's see if you can see them oh yeah you can see them those are pretty I know they're just wildflowers but alright so what are y'all doing during this pandemic are y'all staying home completely are y'all getting out and man the birds are flying <laughs> We're all getting out and at least going out into the parks or out into nature. I know a lot of folks live in bigger towns. Uh, my friend Lola, she lives in, uh, I don't know, Grand Prairie, uh, Arlington, somewhere down there. And those, uh, those kind of areas are a little tougher to get out in. A lot more so than the Wichita Falls, Texas area. <laughs> but as you can see, there is no problem whatsoever of social distancing out here. For one, it's early. And even if it wasn't early, there's still not many people out here. Yeah, for two, it's 43 degrees, or it was. I don't, that kind of catches my eye. The way that tree's blowing and the, the leaves are blowing in the wind. Hopefully you can see that. Some may be blinding us. I don't, I don't know. It's really pretty though. So anyway, what are y'all doing? How are y'all dealing with this? How, are y'all are y'all doing okay out there? Let me know down there in the comments. I I really want to hear from y'all. You know, we uh we're all in this together. I don't care where you're from. Nothing else. We're all in it together. We're all human. And uh, it's World War III with the virus. Who would have thunk it? Anyhow, I hope y'all have enjoyed this uh, little outing. And uh, y'all stay safe out there. Keep your hands clean. Don't put them where they don't belong. <laughs> y'all keep on keeping on. I'll see y'all on down the road. Bye.